in this lesson we will see the box smart pointer we already made a lesson about smart pointers in rust smart pointers are data structures that act very similar to pointers pointers are not a concept just for the rust programming language but for all the programming languages almost all of them a smart pointer is a pointer that uh, has some extra capabilities. We can think about smart pointers like pointers with superpowers. There is a list of smart pointers in Rust. We will not see each of them. Maybe at some point we will do all of them. But I want to start with the most basic one. The most basic one is the box smart pointer. And, uh, and it does what you might think. It just allows you to store data like in a box, hence the name. The superpower of the box uh, smart pointer is that uh, it allows you to store data on the heap rather than the stack. And if you are confused about this, you should check the previous videos about the heap and the stack. Rust works uh, using the stack and the heap. In the, in the stack, you have, for example, um, the integer, other data types, and, for example, the objects and other um, uh, types, they are on the, on the heap. This lesson is not on the heap and the stack. Okay. Boxes, they don't have a performance overhead, so you will not have slower performances. There are uh, three possible situations so when I might want to, to use uh, uh, these smart pointers box. So we will see uh, an example for the first one, but I also want to mention the second and the third one. So the first example is when you have a type whose size can't be known at compile time. And you want to use that value for a type because you want a context that requires a a specific size. The problem is that when you have, for example, integers or i32, i8, i64, you have different sizes and this is for optimization. But then if you need to use those types and you don't know uh, at compile time the exact size, this might be an issue. So maybe you want to put this into a box. So we will see an example. One example that we will see soon is this one, the implementation of the recursive type. A recursive type is a type that contains itself. So in some ways, for example, a list that contains another list okay, of the same type. Okay? And um, this might be an issue, for, uh, for, for example, for, for Rust, because if you have something like this, so a list that contains another list, and at some point you have this, uh, this nil, a sort of null, other two use cases are when you want to, um, to have a large amount of data and you want to transfer ownership but you don't want to use the copy uh, copy when you do that because this um, might be a bit heavy to do. So you want to do this uh, in a lightweight mode. And the third use case is when you want to own a value and you care only that it's a type that's, that implements a specific trait. I remind you that a trait is like an interface. So in Rust we call them traits. If you're more familiar with Java or other programming languages, probably the word interface sounds more familiar to you. Otherwise, you have no idea what a trait does mean. It's not exactly that. Of course, we already made a lesson about traits. You can check it out. Okay, so let's see uh, a first example. First example of box. So we have a function here, main, and we can define a variable, let b equal box new 5, and then we can print it. Oh, okay, <laughs> sorry, I think I, I, I blocked the, the screen. Let's try again. Let's try it out. Cargo run, cargo run, and we have this. So, so to be honest, uh, this print is not very exciting. We are just printing this. I want to, what I want to point out is this. When we define an integer, an i32, 
usually we don't use a box so we use a box only in case we need it by default the i32 will go on the stack okay but there might be a specific case and we'll see a use case today when i want to put this i32 inside the box and on the hip okay so this is just a first example this example is an i32 no that's not the point okay now let's go back to this um, recursive type with box let's uh, try to implement this recursive type and i hope that soon this will become uh, uh, easier to understand let's uh, today it's uh, test okay yeah yeah i know it's just uh, sometimes uh, is a recurrent problem i'm plugging and plugging the mic again is the only way i know that solves this bug let me try i'm sorry Today, today is not a, a lucky day for me. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope that. Okay, I think it's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's uh, let's finish <laughs> this. <laughs> Mm, okay now let's implement this recursive type with boxes we'll have uh, something like this i want to put this uh, here okay this uh, uh, list that contains another list so how can we do how can we implement this in rust we can use um, an enum something like this enum if you want to see a lesson on enum so we have a dedicated one and we have this uh, which is called uh, cons okay and this is not a typo it's the cons stands for a constructor function 32 and then a list and then this so we have a list that contains either a constructor function with another list or the nil value again this nil value is not the the go one is not the rust null keyword also because rust doesn't have a null keyboard keyword it's just a specific value for this that tells me a hey, this list doesn't contain a list anymore okay so this is specific to this now i need to also import this um, cons so i can do this here okay and uh, and then we can define a list like this okay so this is what we have something like that we have a list that contains uh, a list that contains a list that contains a list that contains null okay now we already see that here rust is complaining a bit but let's try to run this anyway okay so let's go here and let's type cargo run okay because this is a lesson about uh, this is a lesson about boxes and not uh, not the console list so let's uh, let's check it here one second okay um okay one moment Second. okay so we have this recursive type list has infinite sides okay so the problem is that uh, the rust compiler can't know what compile time uh, how long this uh, um, this list will be and this is an issue for the rust compiler because otherwise it doesn't know how to allocate uh, this uh, the memory okay this uh, this is the this is the biggest problem um one second because i wanted to check something here we have this list okay 
Ok, so what we can do here, what we can do here is to use the box um, smart pointer where, for example, here we can put it here. So in the definition of the box, something like this, we can have something like that. Ok, one second, it's not work. Moment. A moment. Uh, okay. Why well, is not working? Okay. No, I think no. I think that this is more correct. One second. I want to check. Something strange is happening. Let me check. No. Uh, I think it should work. Let me try. Ok, let's read what's the problem. Enum list. This is ok. Let's try it out. Let's try again. I want to check what's the issue here. Let's try again. Cargo run. Ok. Um, ok, and here. Ok, now, okay, now I see it. Ok, so we need first of all to add this box on line 30 inside this enum so when when there are the values inside this enum we can have either a constructor functions with an i32 and this box list or the nil value of course now we need to replace everything which is here with this box you can see here the rust compiler is suggesting me what to do so i should add box before each of these um, values when i declare this function when i um, when i declare this function so let's replace this list like this okay and now here we should have let's see i think that it's this is not correct okay we have this list with cons why is like this function main okay it's just about today the the rust analyzer is very slow okay now now it's happy it's a bit slow <laughs> everything is slow today i don't know test okay let's try again so in this case now i have this list with this box like this okay i still have some warnings but now but now you see that it's not giving an error anymore okay so why does it work the thing is that now by using this uh, uh, this box smart pointer I get some warnings just because I'm not using this uh, more um, we have something like this and the reason is that if we have something like this now the Rust compiler knows the exact size I want to show you also an image here that might be useful here so you see this is the constructor function and this is now a fixed size because each of the lists they just have the i32 we used an i32 but to be honest we also could have used uh, generics and other types i just wanted to make a more specific example and maybe not not mixing generics uh, with smart pointers but you can think this might be anything it might even be a generic okay and now here the, it has this uh, box smart pointer and then here we have this uh, size so now we know exactly what is the size why we didn't use uh, box for other enums i want to show you for example for uh, when we introduced the enums uh, we did something like this like i'll show you here okay so this is another enum another example okay this is enum message if we zoom a bit here and we check check here check the tooltip here maybe i'll make it a bit bigger so you can check it you see here you can see size zero 
here the Rust compiler knows exactly what the side here. You see sides 16, sides 24, and here they change here here they change color is as a size 20. Okay, so here the num can here the nums um here Rust knows exactly what's the size. Okay. In this one, Rust now it knows it because it has a box. Otherwise, it will have an error. So the problem here is this recursive type. So, for example, if I have something like this, so a type that has another type of the same type inside, this is actually possible. This is not just for the constructor functions. Here I can use uh, boxes. So this is a, a good use case, I think. We also learned about the recursive types. I don't know if you ever heard, have you ever used? I've, I've heard this uh, uh, a bit in the past. Probably it's not the most common use case, but at least now we have a specific use case for, uh, for this one, okay? And I think that's it. Uh, something something else is that the box uh, type is a smart pointer because it implements the deref and drop trait. The deref trait is uh, for so uh, the value inside the box can be treated as uh, as a reference, and the drop trait is basically to handle what will happen when uh, we go out of scope. So. I remind you that each smart pointer needs to implement the deref and drop trait. We will make probably a lesson specific to the deref trait. I don't know if it's the next uh, next one. It might be. Yes, the next lesson it will be about this deref trait. And then we will see other smart pointers. Okay, so this is a an example and this is uh, i think one of the most used and more and more important smart pointers if you have any questions just uh, drop it below uh, i think that we are going into more advanced stuff and this is not probably what we see every single day but uh, it's we are getting at a point where we see start seeing how uh, rust can really be powerful because uh, these smart pointers will have like a list, there are like 10, 15 of them. I think that at least understanding that they exist might be useful, might be nice because, uh, or in an, another good use case is that if we see this box in some existing Rust code, I, I think I made it in, uh, in, one less, in one lesson, in one project I used it, it's useful to know. So as a quick recap, the box smart pointer allows to store data on the heap rather than the stack, even if that type is meant to be on the stack. Okay, why this one good use case is that um, I want I don't know the type size at compile time. I will have this at runtime. So this is to handle. Um, the size of types at runtime. This is super important because otherwise the compile will not allow uh, us to to compile the code. So with this we can uh, let's say <laughs> um, let's say solve this uh, issue. Okay. I hope this was uh, an interesting lesson. Let's say we are getting into more advanced stuff. Mm, this um, probably might be a, will be a lesson that we can refer in the future. Example, for example, if we see the box uh, smart pointer in the future. Okay, in the next lesson we will see the deref trait. If you have any.